Welcome to beautiful Puerto Vallarta. Today we have top 12 things for you to do while visiting the city. Let's go. As soon as you touch down, the first thing you need to do is check out Malecon. It is like a boardwalk that's right along the water. And then on the other side, you have a whole bunch of restaurants, a bunch of bars, shops, things to see, things to taste. Mm. These are good strawberries. It's got a lot of other cute things. This is racehorses. Yes. They're not really racehorses, they're rocking horses. Oh, well, we were racing. That's how you're gonna win? Marcel doesn't know how to ride a horse, clearly. You're not gonna win. You have a lot of art, you have mm -hmm. a lot of artists performing mm -hmm. different things. There is arches, like very, these famous arches, it's called the Los Arcos. Great for pictures. There is a church right there, Lady de Guadalupe. While you're walking the Malecon, you walk along the beach, it's very beautiful, and then as you keep going, you're already getting into the Playa de los Muertos with the famous Los Muertos Beach Pier, mm -hmm. which is really, really amazing with all like twirly thing. All it right. looks just perfect. Why did who, who just falls down <laughs> on the water? How much can I give you to, to jump off? You don't have enough. I have all the money. <laughs> and also while you're over there, there's a lot of water sports. So you can check out some of the jet skis, or you can go parasailing, have a nice little race around the ocean. If you're looking for something that you probably have never seen before in your life, we definitely recommend checking out Horuyo Bridge. It's, it's absolutely stunning, and I don't think any pictures or videos can do it the justice of how beautiful, how peaceful, how enormous this bridge is. It's, it's just, it's absolutely wonderful experience. Another cool thing is you can get a tour to Horuyo Bridge. You ah. can cross the bridge with AVR. You can also do it on your own. You can just walk. At the end of the bridge, there is a little bar with hammocks, with view of the bridge and the entire jungle. You can relax there, enjoy the view. Looks really nice from here. You can actually see the beach if you are looking in the right direction. I guess that's the case for all beaches. You can see all beaches if you look in the right direction. This bridge isn't really for the faint of heart. So if you're feeling daring, you're going to cross it. But if you look down, you could see, you could actually see some of the wood <laughs> isn't exactly fully touching and it makes your heart kind of, oh boy. But then you see these huge off-roading beasts going like traveling straight down and then it makes you feel a little more confident. Yeah. I want everybody to see how terrifying this is. I personally am afraid of heights, but I'm not somehow afraid here okay. very much. I don't know why, I'm just not. Okay. I was not scared for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. I believe maybe it's because it's surrounded by a jungle, so it's so much green and uh -huh. you don't get that feel of like, oh, what's gonna happen if I fall? Yeah. Like, oh, well, when you fall, it's trees, so, I mean. Trees don't still... hurt. Next thing we're gonna tell you about is Islas Marietas. It's a hidden island. You're in an, a beach underneath an island that has a sky circle. Yeah. This is amazing. And here's what's incredible about it. You take a speedboat out to this island. Now, you get to the edge and you see a little opening and they explain to you how you only have 30 minutes. 30 minutes because a little bit later, the tide's gonna be way too high for you to even get through this hole. So you have a small amount of time to get through. So you jump off the boat, you start swimming, you start swimming as fast as you can, and then you get through this little cave, this underwater cave. And as soon as you get out, you have a whole sky window. The other island where all the birds are perched up is above you, and right here below you is a beach. It's a beach underneath the island. We made it to Hidden Island, oh my gosh. 
After you're done with your 30 minutes on this absolutely amazing island, Vallarta Adventures, they take you snorkeling, you get to experience fish. On our snorkel trip, we saw a school of probably a thousand I swam little with fish. them like Bing. And then some other fish, some puffer fish, and some other cool fish. And then an eagle ray decided to show up and it was swimming right underneath us. Yeah. And then it turned around and swam away. They'll drive you around the island. You see all the beautiful birds, beautiful views, other little island. Then you jump in, you see some fish, come back. And then they zoom you right back to the port and you get to enjoy the rest of your day. And now we're going somewhere in there, somewhere in there. Another really cool thing you might want to check out while you're in Puerto Vallarta is Kuala Island. Yes. It's a little island that goes along the river. It's right next to Malecon. So here's the beginning if you're starting from the beach. You get off the bridge to get to this little, little, it's called island. And there is so many vendors there. So many things you can buy, but it's mainly souvenirs. souvenirs, it's clothes, oink, oink. but the really cool part about it, it has trees, hanging trees with like ropey looking things off of them. All right, let's play twister. Left hand on the right branch. Right leg on this. <laughs> And now shake it all around. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, shake myself out of the tree. There is suspension bridges going to the island. You can just walk through these alleys with a bunch of vendors. It's a really, really nice walk and definitely something to check out while you're in Puerto Vallarta. So another really great thing to do while you're exploring the city is going to Zona Romantica. It's a like a little romantic zone part of the city. It's really, really cute with smaller streets. There's so many cool bars around everywhere and I'm just finding out about it right now and it's after the weekend. I don't know if you can see, but it's raining so much. Watermelon sugar, drink. Watermelon sugar, drink. <laughs> Watermelon sugar drink. It seems like it's uh, one of the most fun area of the town while also being like the smallest and cutest. So here is another really, really cool thing that you can do. It's release the turtle. You get to see a turtle making its way to the water. Absolutely amazing. I. <laughs> It's, I, I'm so happy we got to do this because they don't hatch every day. So you arrive there from your Uber and you walk on the beach just like you do on a beach. And then eventually you get to the camp. It's a cute little camp that has uh, little nesting areas. Right around eight o'clock, a guy runs in with a, with a bag, a, yeah. like a big bag. And I'm like, I wonder if that's eggs. It's probably eggs. He goes over to the mounds and he's like digging and digging. He has this bag of turtles and we want to see it. Well, of course, everybody wants to see it. We're all huddled around the fence. Like, please let us have a look. And then, so he comes over and he shows us the bag of turtles. And there are these little eggs. They look like golf balls, right? Yeah. They, yeah, like, yeah. like really soft go golf balls. And then they tell you about turtles and mm -hmm. tell you all the history or like what's going to talk about. Yeah, what's going to happen. And we're going to see the, the great turtle now. <laughs> Watch, Olin, don't flash, no, no, no light, please. And this is the point. This is the Burning Concord. Oh, they're so cute. He was modeling. Right. <laughs> so if you're gonna actually go and do this experience, make sure to think about the name for your turtle beforehand, because <laughs> they they lined us up. We are standing there, ready to release the turtle, and she's like. Think What's the name. the name of the turtle? I'm like, three, two, one. I don't know, I don't know. Do this experience if you can. It's it's absolutely amazing. I think it's it's 
wow it, it made my day then we went shopping and i was like oh everything's so wonderful like like all these souvenirs are so pretty all of a sudden it would be a shame for you to come to puerto vallarta and miss sarita i am serious when i say this place is one of the biggest gems in puerto vallarta Are you ready? It's an hour drive away. But don't let that scare you. No. Nope. Don't let it scare you. I know it takes a long time to get there and maybe back, but this place is incredible and one of my favorite places I've been to in a long time. Now in a place like a boardwalk, you have one street where all the action is. This one, the whole town, is the place where you want to be. And the streets are really tiny. I'm not a lot of cars. It's mostly little like little bikies and dune bikes and there's like a little a few little racers. It's really pedestrian. And aside from that, it's really colorful. Every single street looks like a new thing that you want to go off and explore. And then you go down that street and then you want to explore this other street that you see. Everything has something new to offer. And even though it's touristy, there's a lot of tours there, but that's because it's so nice. A lot of people might say you can see this place in a day, which is true, but to get the full value of it, you're probably gonna wanna stay for two days, maybe three. There's a lot of fruit stands, a lot of taco stands. Come here, check this out. I have one thing that I get more excited about than anything else, pretty much. I need to try some. Hello, slice some, come take a look. Look, look how look how nice and drizzly and crispy it looks. And you got a little bit of the, the pineapple. All right, you gotta get some of this. Can't you taste it? It's, uh, uh -huh. OMG, it's so good. Oh, and there's bars everywhere. That's the coolest bar with a swing. My favorite thing, was since it's so small, but also so vast, is the golf carts. Yes. The golf carts make it so much fun. It's nice to walk from here to there, but when you could actually add something to it, so you hop in there and then you can drive up and down every single street and make sure you see it from every angle and see everything that you ever wanted to see there. And it's a fun way to get around and you don't, you know, wear out your legs or precious little feetsies. All right, quick Spanish lesson time. Do you know what amor means in Spanish? Frog. <laughs> Close. Another really, really amazing thing to do while in Puerto Vallarta is going on a hike to see Palo Maria Waterfall. It's your time to shine, Marcel. Say goodbye to this bridge. Okay, so we found a waterfall. However, it is a bit of a hike. It's one hour hike, one way. Okay, so at the beginning I was like, it's not really that rocky. <laughs> It's rocky. People are like, bring water shoes, and then I was watching some videos. Well, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe I can wear flip-flops. No, <laughs> bring water shoes. The waterfall is amazing. A lot of people climb the rocks and jump off to the water. There is a lot of mosquitoes. I'm not lying. <laughs> Trust me and bring a bug repellent. You might want to have like a fondue of yourself with bug repellent. Because otherwise the bugs are gonna eat you alive. I, I always wanted to see like real waterfall. Hmm. I wanted to swim in a waterfall. One of my bucket list things for waterfalls is to like hang out behind a waterfall. Another amazing thing to do while in Puerto Vallarta is hiking Mirador de la Cruz, viewpoint of entire city. It might be not the easiest. There is a lot of steps. It goes all the way up. It's not necessarily a hike through the jungle that's hard to do or hiking a whole bunch of big rocks. It's more of a zillion stairs. When you get to here where you see this little gondola thing, <sighs> That's how you that's know, where that's where it starts. <laughs> this is the beginning. No, this right here. I how wet I am, because you can draw a bath with me right now. You can just squeeze <laughs> me and you're gonna have a full on pull. Splish splash, I was taking a bath to do all the bath. Some of the stairs are really tall. They're not normal height. You have to take a big, tall step just to get up one step. If you're not an experienced hiker or if you have like mobility issues, that might not be a good hike for you. However, if you're okay with stairs and you can do the hike, 
it's really worth it. You get 360 of entire city. When you get to the top, it looks like a parking lot, but for people. <laughs> it does. Because that's what you do. You walk up the stairs of parking lot, and then each level has people that are parked there looking at the sunset and looking at the view. I gotta be honest, when I first saw some pictures of this place, I thought it looked kind of like a skate park. And I mean, it does still kind of look like, but when you're up here, I guarantee you, it's so amazing. You're so high, you can see everything. The whole city, the beach, the other cities. Do yourself a favor, do the hike. It's not the easiest, but definitely worth it. Yeah. Probably morning and evening is gonna be best time, but you'll get a beautiful view any time of the day. Okay, next we have Miss Maloya Beach. So when you drive down this hill, you get out, and then you walk across this small bridge that goes through like this river that comes out into the beach area. Many, many boats on the water. It's such an amazing vibe. There's four restaurants, they close at six. So if you want to eat, come earlier. However, I would definitely recommend that you come and spend the day there because you can go paddle boarding, you can rent a boat, you can do many different water sports. This rock actually looks like a foot. That's cute. It's a rock that's shaped like a foot. There is a famous arch there where you can take pictures as well or just enjoy your time. And absolutely amazing sunsets. And here is a foot. If you want to slow down a little bit, get away from a bigger city and enjoy a smaller laid back atmosphere. I miss Maloya Beach. I miss, Mal I miss, miss Maloya Beach already. Here's a really exciting one for you. This is Rhythms of the Night. This is a full tour that is a nighttime dinner show. You take a ship out to this private beach. Nobody can get to it. It's an hour long boat where you get to see entire city, beautiful views, open bar. There is music, a little bit of shows. You've been sailing up for a while and then you arrive. The gates come down and you're welcomed by mermaids and tigers and tiki torches and tree men and everywhere you walk there are sounds and they all are distant and it looks like a, a hidden jungle type thing with lots of tiki torches and fire and hidden pathways that you could walk on a lot of wonderful things that get you in the feeling of the entire experience it's such a visceral experience they really go extra and beyond to make you feel like you're part of a new place in the whole world. Uh, they do a show for you, and then they give you dinner, and you have open bar, and it's, the whole thing is incredible. You take the seat, and the show begins, and there is so many wonderful things you get to see. The show is like Cirque du Soleil, so you get top talent at this performance. The show is really creative, a lot of fun, dynamic, and they have live musicians that are part of the performance. After the show, you get to enjoy a really beautiful dinner. It's a buffet type of dinner, and it's laid out right at the water. Marcel got his shot oh, yeah. of tequila. It could have been either catch the boat or have a shot of tequila. I went with the smart choice <laughs> because it's not like I would be mad if I got stuck here. Then when it's time to go, you go back on a boat and you know, you would think it's just a boat. You're gonna just sail back for another hour. No, they put up an entire show for you right on the boat. Nobody's steering the boat anymore. <laughs> Everyone's just <laughs> dancing and being silly. It's a ton of fun and I really hope you get a chance to check it out. Now that's all we've got for our top 12 list of things to do in Puerto Vallarta. Now go grab yourself a plane ticket, go have some fun. You're gonna love it there and we'll see you somewhere else in the world. I have, I have disgraced my family! Oh! Oh! You wanna touch my back? It's a river. It's a taste like chicken. Today we have te te pa. Te te pa. We gotta give you. We got te te pa for you. <laughs> Sit down and grab some popcorn because we're gonna get te te pa up in here. Okay, that's enough for me. Yes, you get the shot. Okay, let's go.